Need to get myself together, I'm a man Straight up oh, okay, son. In bikini bottom, I'm a stand Oh, you should keep on drinking out of brand Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I came with something different and instead of doing the normal lace like we always do, I'm coming with a U-part wig tutorial. So this U-part was sent to me by Eunice Hair and on this U-part it has four little um, clips at the top of the hair and it also has three combs and it also is adjustable. So you can adjust it in the back however tight or loose you want it and this is how the top of it looks. And girl, I ain't even want to take off my bonnet because what's underneath looks crazy. But basically, I have a leave out. I have two anchor braids on the side and then I have two anchor braids near at the top where my leave out is. Um, and I also have a little bit of leave outs on my edges as well. So I'm just unbraiding the leave out. So to try to get my leave out to blend a little bit better, I'm taking some a lot of body mousse and I'm just pumping this in my hand and putting this on my leave out. For some reason, mousse is just really good at getting your hair to blend with the hair, if that makes sense. So I just put some of that in and now I'm blow drying it with my Dyson blow dryer. I love this Dyson blow dryer. It's the goat, okay? But yeah, I'm just blow drying it. I always recommend blow drying your leave out before you straighten it. Never just let it air dry and then blow dry it. It just turns out way better when you blow dry it. So I'm just taking those two combs at the top on the, that side and I'm putting it in the side anchor braid. And then I'm just doing it on the other side. I'm literally just clipping it into that anchor braid. Um... And then I'm taking the combs and I'm just uh, putting the combs in that side anchor braid as well. And I'm doing that on both sides. And literally that's it y'all. Like literally this took two seconds to put the clips in and the combs in and it's done. <laughs> So I decided that I wanted to do a middle part with this wig. So I'm just parting out my hair. For some reason, it's so hard for me to part my own hair, but it's easy to part a wig. I don't know. I guess I haven't been dealing with my real hair for a real long time. So it was a little bit difficult. Um, but the key to getting a really straight leave out also is to part the hair in small sections and also take a little bit of wax stick on the roots of the hair and I am using my Babyliss Pro flat irons and I am also doing the chase method so I'm basically using my comb and then I'm chasing the flat iron behind the comb and that's basically how I got my leave out to blend. I also think the flat iron plays a good a kind of a big role in how straight your leave out is because I used to have some really cheap flat irons from Walmart but for some reason whenever I did a leave out last year when I did a view part I could not get my leave out um, straight enough and as soon as I got my babyless pros the leave out is leave outing okay babyless flat irons are definitely a little bit more on the pricey side but I think they do a really good job at flat ironing natural hair and getting natural hair textures really straight so I'm just gonna be flat ironed the rest of my leave out and I'll let you guys watch me I also want to mention that I did that is wig jet black. Um, my natural hair color is a little bit darker than 1B. So it did blend for the most part. Um, but if you do want to dye your wig jet black, just make sure your natural hair is also black enough to blend with it basically. So if your hair is like a 1B color but you want to dye your wig jet black, you also are pretty much going to have to dye your hair jet black also. Because otherwise the color isn't going to blend if that makes sense. But yeah just wanted to throw that in there
so then i'm just going in with my flat irons on the wig and i just love this wig y'all the hair is really thick and full and it's silky and the hair does not shed also so i really like this wig um your girl might just be obsessed with leave outs now okay it's just a little bit too hot for lace this was just I don't know it was just given natural like it just looks so much more natural to me so yeah so I'm just going in with some edge booster on my edges to get these edges nice and slick and this is how it turned out so freaking cute you can put it behind your ear you can wear it in your face however you want to do it so cute okay y'all so this is the end of the video and I freaking love my hair. I haven't had a leave out in I don't know how long. I used to wear U parts all the time. I actually have a U part video tutorial on my channel like from like 2018, like five years ago. I used to wear U parts heavy and then I started being a lace girl, but not gonna lie. I might start coming back a U part girl at this point. It just looks so natural. Like if y'all don't have a Babyliss Pro flat iron, you need to get one, okay? Because I did a V part on my channel a few, probably a year ago, and I could not get my leave out to blend for the life of me. But I think that this flat iron plays a big role in how like sleek your hair can get, your natural hair. Mind you, I have natural hair. I don't have a perm or anything like that. My hair is natural. I was itching to do a leave out. And then Eunice, they asked me that I want to do a you part and I just love it so much. It was so easy to do y'all. Literally, you could take it on and off at night, put it back on in the morning or sleep in it, however you want to do it. So if you guys are interested in purchasing this wig, I will leave a link in the description box down below so you guys can go check it out definitely go check it out this is in 24 inches i did cut the ends a little bit just because i like that look of like cut ends i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i had a really fun time doing it it was something really different than lace don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share this video and turn on your post notifications so you can always be notified anytime your girl posts a video thank you so much for tuning in and i'll definitely catch you guys in the next one